How are you? Okay, I am Snigdha Paul, class teacher of standard 3B. And today we will start with maths. So, take out chapter 1, numbers. Okay. Now, take four digit numbers. For example, 7692. What we will uh, tell this one? 7692. Can you tell me the place of 2 here? Yes, it's 1s, 9, 10s, 6, 1, 100 and 7,000. So, we tell 7,692. Now, we will read face value and place value. Can you tell me what is the difference between face value and place value? Yes. See, just take this example. 7692. The face value of 7 is 7. Face value of 6 is 6. Face value of 9 is 9. And the face value of 2 is 2. The same number will come. But... Place value is different. The place value of 7 is 7000, 6 is 600, 9 is 90 and 2 is 2. So did you understand what is the difference between face value and place value? Okay, fine. Now, children, do you know what is an even number and what is an odd number? Okay, fine. Even numbers means numbers that have 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 at the ones place. Means last number will be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. That is even number. Like for example, 2382. 2 is, what is our last number? 2. So that is even number. And odd numbers that have 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 at the 1's place. Means last number will be either 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9. Then it will be odd number. Now exercise 8. Have you seen this table? Now these are the sum numbers. Like 7162. What is the last number here? 2. So 2 is the, means this full numbers are even numbers. Let us move to uh, this number. 6129. What is our last number? 9. 9 is an odd number. So this is an odd number. Next, question number 2. You have to add these two numbers. 1472 plus 3114. You add. After adding, if the last number is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then it will be even number. And if it comes 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9, last number I mean, it will be an odd number. Okay children? Thank you. Exercise 2. Check out. Number names. Do you know what is the meaning of number names? Spelling. You have to write the spelling. First sum I have done. 2440. Write the spelling. T W of 2. 1000. T H O U S A N D. 1000. 4. F O U R 4. 100. H U N D R E D. 100. 40. F O R T Y. 2440. Now second one, you have to write the number here. Second question, you have to write down the number. Let us move to exercise 3. Expanded form. You know what is the meaning of expanded form? We have to write in large way. In larger way. Like 2186. We will elaborate this one. Make it large. 
2186. Okay? Now, compact form. Compact form means we have to write in small way. Small number. 1000 plus 200 plus 40 plus 3. See, we have made it small. This is expanded form. Means in large way. And this is in small way. 1243. Let us move to exercise 4. Successor and predecessor. Successor means we have to add one more. And predecessor means we have to subtract one number. First one we have done. 2139. So we will add one number. So what comes children? Yes, correct. 2140. Predecessor means we will just before number. We will take the before number or we will subtract one number. 3240. So what comes before? Yes, right children. 3239. Now, Let's move to exercise 5. You have to tick the greatest number means bigger number and cross the smallest number. Here are some numbers. 2127, 8025, 6129, 2009. Can you tell me children from this which is the greatest number? Yes, 8025. So put a tick on that. And cross the smallest number. That is 2009. Did you understand? Yes, good. Now let us move to exercise 6. Ascending order. Ascending means... Smaller to bigger. We will write from small to big. Take these numbers. 4840, 2048, 6480, 5084. First pick out the smallest number. Which is the smallest number here? Yes, 2048. Next number, yes. 4840. Next, 5084. Next, 6480. Ending order. It means bigger to smaller. Now, here are some numbers I have done for you. 2167, 6409, 8042, 7947. From these numbers, pick out the bigger number. Which is the bigger number here? Yes, right children. 8042. Next, 7947. Next, 6409. And finally, 2167. So we are writing from bigger to smaller. Let us move to exercise 7. Exercise 7 children, you have here are 4 digits. 2956. Now write here the greatest number from these numbers and the smallest number from these numbers. So greatest will be 9652 and the smallest will be 2569. Can you tell me which is the smallest four digit number? Yes. Smallest four digit number is 1000. And the largest four digit number is 9999. Now listen to the instructions which I am going to give you. In this chapter there are eight exercises. And from each exercise I am going to solve one sum. The rest of the sums you will do in the book itself. And when the school will reopen. We will discuss the answers on the book. Am I clear? Okay, fine. Now take out exercise 1. 
Let me read out the heading. Draw beads to represent the following numbers on the abacus and write their number names below. Children, this is abacus. First sum I have done. 5,271. 5 will be at thousands place. 2 will be 100 place. 7 will be 70s place. Ten, I mean tens place. And one will be at zeros place. Ones place, sorry. Now, five beads I will draw here in thousands place. Two beads I will draw here in hundreds place. Seven beads I will draw in tens place. And one I will draw bead in ones place. So number name will be 5,271.